friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss May on my channel. I do a variety of lifestyle videos. Today's video is going to be a Costco food review video. Recently, I found this new item at Costco. This is from the brand Okami and this is their garlic barbecue chicken bao. So it's steamed buns filled with chicken raised raised without antibiotics and garlic barbecue sauce. Traditionally, these barbecue buns are made with pork, but in this case, they replaced pork with chicken. And is it gonna taste as good as the traditional barbecue bao buns? Let's try this out. And personally, I also make these by myself, so I'm super excited to try this out. So you can microwave or you can steam it. Like this is a heating instruction. I will always recommend the steaming method because it's gonna make the buns a little bit more moist, more fluffy. And this is the ingredients and the nutrition facts if you guys are interested. Let's unbox this together. So it comes with a dozen of bowls in, in two containers. So six bowls in each. I'm heating up some water right now. I'm gonna make all, so this is what it looks like it has little folds in there and the buns in there the smell of it it kind of just smells like chinese bows <sighs> i can smell the nutrition yeast i can smell the yeast okay let's give it a try i'm actually heating up some water and we're gonna put them in the steamer and try this out yummy yummy and the size of these bows are medium they're not too big or too small i have small hands it's basically the size um, of my palm, maybe a little bit smaller than my palm. Um, you can easily eat two to three of these per person. Okay, let's try these. So for the steam method, you just remove the bowels from the container in a steam cooker and steam for about five minutes. Oh, this one, it looks a little bit dipped. For the microwave, you put, you wrap the bow with a damp paper towel, microwave on high for 30 seconds. If additional heating is needed, um, continue for another 10 seconds. It's so easy for a quick lunch or breakfast. Um, preferably eat some vegetables with it, but we're gonna come over here. Okay, we're gonna put this in there for medium heat. Okay, the water is boiling. Oh no, it's too much water, it's too much water. Okay, it says do not let a bow touches the water, so that's why we can't have that much water in there. Put the bonds in there and let's close the lid. We're gonna give it five minutes on medium heat. A few moments later. Alrighty, it's almost five minutes. Let it it's one more minute. I can't wait to try this out. Ooh, it's five minutes. The water is boiling too much. Let's simmer it down for the last one minute. Eventually. All right, let's close it. It's been exact five minutes. We're gonna follow the instruction for today. Okay, let's take out the bonds. Just be careful when you first open it. Don't eat it right away because it may be hot. I can smell the yeast. It smells a little bit sour on the bonds. Okay guys, this is what it looks like. We're gonna open this for a second. It looks pretty good. It's definitely not like the same as the traditional chasu bao because the traditional chasu bao has like, it's a little bit more fluffy on the dough side, but let's try this. Let it sit for one minute before you try it because you don't want to burn your mouth because it has steam inside of the buns. All right, guys, let's try the bones. This is what it looks like. Oh, looking good. It's really good bun to meat ratio. You can see the big pieces of chicken. The sauce looks pretty legit. It smells really, really good. The bun looks really, really soft. Okay, let's try this. Looking good for the presentation. Pretty good. I want to say presentation is probably nine out of ten. It's definitely not the traditional barbecue pork buns, but it looks pretty good as a like a bun, like a bao bun. Three, two, one. Hmm. Hmm. It's super garlicky. The bun is super soft and fluffy. It's de definitely not the traditional barbecue bun because it's not sweet. Usually the traditional barbecue bun, the dough is slightly sweetened. This one is not as sweet, but it's a very soft and fluffy bun with a lot of sauce and flavor. The sauce is super garlicky. 
I can taste the Chinese barbecue sauce with a hint of garlic or a lot of garlic in there. It's pretty good meat to bond ratio. Hmm. Let's say the traditional barbecue buns, the sauce is sweeter than this. The dough is sweeter than this. this but it still tastes pretty good. Has a lot of meat in there. Very moist. It's a little bit on the saltier side though. I think it's a little bit too salty for my liking. Not a lot of sweetness to it, but it's not bad. Dan, it has 18 grams of added sugar per two bowels. That's a lot of added sugar. I think it's because the saltiness and the garlic of the sauce is overpowering the sweetness of the dough and the sweetness of the sauce. So I think that's why I don't taste the sweetness, but really good texture. Let's try again. I can easily eat two of these. Super soft. I want to say this is different from the dim sum cha siu bao. Um, it's definitely different from the pork ones, but I love the chicken ones. The stuffing is really good. Okay, the pro of this is that the bun has great texture. It's very saucy. It has really good meat to sauce to bun ratio. The cons of this is that I feel like the sauce is a little bit too salty. It's definitely on the garlicky side. And also there's not much of a sweetness towards the fluffy buns. But overall, I like this item. I will repurchase this again. It's not the like super traditional barbecue pork, chasu bao, but at the same time, it has a really nice flavor to it. I wish it's less salty though. So overall, I will give this item 8.5 out of 10. It's pretty good. I will repurchase this again, but it's definitely not the super traditional one. Alrighty, let's do a microwave from yesterday. So when you microwave it, just make sure that you put a damped paper towel on top so it's not drying out. Just try it without anything first and then taste test. What do you think? It's better than the last one you bought. No, like, the, people don't know what's the last one about. Like, just describe what it tastes like this one. Soft, fluffy. The meat's pretty good. It's got a lot of meat. I like it. I think they're... The bread is, is really good. How about the stuffing? Yeah, the stuffing's good. It has a lot of flavor. It's putting some soy sauce. I think it's super salty. I, I, I would not put extra soy sauce. It's bad. What's the flavor? How's the flavor? It's bad. Huh? It's bad with soy sauce. Mm -hmm. But can you tell what meat <clears throat> is that? Chasau. Chasau? I don't know. No, it's chicken. Oh, it's chicken? Yeah. Oh, then I can't tell it's chicken. It tastes like chasau to me. I felt like the sauce is too salty. The it's sauce, I think, tastes really good. It's just, I didn't know this was chicken. On a scale 1 to 10. I don't know, man. 7.5. 7.5. It's not as good as like the dim sum chasau bao, right? No. Uh, why, why do you think it's not as good? The bread is not as big and fluffy. Like here, you can tell like there's no air pockets in there. Well, I it's felt not soft and fluffy. Like it's soft, but it's not as airy. But I feel like the sauce, the sauce is like too salty and not as sweet. The chasu sauce is like too garlicky because it's garlic barbecue sauce. I don't taste the garlic. I taste a lot of garlic because I don't like. Like garlic. now that you told me it's chicken, if I really try hard, I can tell it's chicken. But originally, I could not tell. Seven point five. You would buy it again. How about good? How much is it? It's ten dollars for twelve. Um, yeah, fine. It's worth it. Normally they'd be like a dollar fifty each, so it's not bad. But they're smaller ones too. Right, but they are small. But filling me up tastes, tastes good enough. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I am actually happy with my purchase. Um, comment down below if you have found this item in your Costco and if you tried it, if you liked it. And it, have you tried the traditional cha siu bao from the dim sum restaurants? Comment down below. All right, that's it for today's video. Thumbs up and subscribe. Check out my other Costco food review videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye, happy bonbons. Bye bye. Yum, 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 yum.